Okay, happy Tuesday. So you guys watched a two minute and 30 second video talking about workflow and it gave us some examples of what workflow was. Now here is something really cool um, that we're gonna work on today. You're gonna do the vocabulary. I've attached that in here, but you're also going to work on an actual workflow yourself, okay? It can be on anything that you do on a regular basis. It could be applying eyelashes for ladies. It could be changing tires. It could be cleaning shoes. For you, those of you who are tennis shoe heads, it could be gaming, how to set up a gaming system. It could be um, getting your brother or sister ready for school. It could be getting yourself ready for school. It could be getting ready for work. It could be something you do at work, how to get ready to be a cashier at Burger King or whatever the case may be. OK, you all are going to go through and create a workflow chart. And this is how you're going to do it. OK, on this page, it says design a workflow chart using um, showing the steps in a particular process. OK. You can research the process, or if it's something you already know how to do, you can just write it out. You're going to include the steps, okay, that it will go through until it's 100% complete, okay? And you're going to include how you could rearrange things to make it work better. So here's how you would do that. You would click in and go to Google Docs. Um, if you don't have Microsoft Word, obviously Google Docs is going to have to be your only choice, okay? So let me say I'm going to do um, steps to... Um, making, since I have a brand new baby, I'm going to do steps to making baby food. Most of y'all won't choose that anyway, so that's why I'm doing it, okay? So number one, I need to buy the produce, okay? And I'm going to be specific, green beans and uh, sweet potatoes and bananas, Okay. Step two is what I need to do for step two. I need to um, clean, uh, when I get home, drive home, okay? I'm inc including every single step of the process, okay? So drive home, then I'm going to clean produce and prepare um, items that do not need to be cleaned. Example, bananas. Like bananas, I need to slice them. Slice. Jesus. Okay, number four, what I do next, I clean the produce. Next, I need you to um, boil, steam, or um, bake produce. And what I really could do for this is create a more, um, like, narrow down focus. So let's say I could do steps to making baby green beans or steps to making baby sweet potatoes, and I can make it more specific, okay? Don't be too vague. Be very specific, all right? So then, and I'm giving you this because I'm just helping you understand how to do it, but you need to make yours very specific and step by step. Do not miss a step, okay? Boil, steam, or bake produce. Okay, but wait a minute. I missed a step. I need to next um, get pans, pots, or baking sheets, or, um, well, I'm just gonna get them ready, okay? Then I will, um, so that would include uh, boiling water, um, putting on oven. Y'all get what I'm doing? You're gonna make all those steps. Then I can say, okay, well, where's one, one thing that you could do if you wanted to skip step one, if you already have your produce at home, you can go straight to step four. So I can make a little provision down here. Um, skip step one if produce is already in pantry, P-A-N-T-R-Y, comma, or at home. Okay, y'all see what I'm doing there? How can I make it quicker? Okay, so if you have a tire, and you're telling people how to change a tire, you could put a provision at the bottom that says, um, skip these steps and do this in order to plug the tire. If there's just like a punched hole, okay? Just a hole, you can plug a hole in the tire easy and keep driving it, okay? So that's what you're gonna do when you're done. You're gonna upload it into Schoology on um, um, Wednesdays assignment okay wednesday this assignment will be due on wednesday we're going to create a workflow chart you can do it with shapes if you'd like um, and i'll show you how to do that on the next video okay